Welcome to the Trail Playbook Guide video to Endo, Oh No, Fury 3, and Boiler in Jackson Demonstration State Forest in Mendocino, California. This set of linked up trails is a mile and a half long and descends 800 feet. Two things of note as the video will focus on one, the image on the left. There are quite a few tight, tight turns, especially at the start of the descent on Endo, and the image on the right. Not long after the boiler on the trail is a tricky log jumper roll. So let's dive in from the top with Endo. Elevation is on the left, GPS traces on the right, and this video was recorded Labor Day weekend 2020 with hot and maximally dry conditions in the middle of the afternoon. Endo takes a hard left turn a few meters into the trail, and then you start the fun of climb, climb, climb uphill. Coming around this bend, the grade increases, becoming steeper and even more fun continuing to climb, climb, climb. You get the tiniest of rest right here, and then around a corner to where it becomes even more steep and more fun. So these trails are considered one of the all-time great downhill runs into Mendocino Woodland State Park, and they became officially sanctioned in 2016. Oh, there's more around this turn and into a straightaway with the sustained grade for maximum enjoyment. And you're not quite there yet, as it gets even steeper for the final moments, and a little bit tacky too, of the fun, 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 climb, climb, climb. As with the most of the rest of Mendocino, the trees you will see here are mostly coast redwoods with that typical sandstone, silty soil with loam on top that makes for great traction and fun, even when breaking loose. around this turn there's a sapling in the middle of the trail and a clearing a great place to catch up with your buddies take a breather flip your suspension to fun mode or dive right into that first hard right turn to the left and right and left and right all steep downhill into the fun part with another left hand sweep into a right turn a little bit of straightaway. And then hard right. Picking up speed. Into a left turn. Into a hard right turn. And then this can be jumped. downhill straight away here coming into the woods with a bit of a transition where the trail tightens and becomes narrower with a bench cut into the hillside Joining a fire road with a left turn, picking up, oh no, into a straightaway. Compared to the downhill part of Endo, oh no is a bit more wide open, straighter, and faster. Even with this hard right turn. A few tight turns starting with this left. Then into this banked right. Into a left sweeper. The flat exit. And then into a tight bench cut. 
downhill through a tight tree crossing. Continuing along this downhill bench cut, there's what looks to be a tight tree crossing, but there's really plenty of room. A little bit of uphill across a plank bridge into a little bit more uphill and then continuing down with a bit more space in the previous bench cut. The trail opens up into some high quality pedaling. Across a plank bridge with some more pedaling and then cresting out, picking up some speed. Across another plank bridge, coming into a set of those fun, steep, tight downhill turns. The level of steering input shows how tight these turns are. Look how much the bars and the wheel moves going through. Coming into some fast, open downhill with some ups and downs. A right turn. Opening into a feature I completely missed. That's a ramp, by the way, not a roll down. Then rejoining the road where you will make a right turn. Downhill for a few meters. And then look for that left turn hey, into Fury 3. <clears throat> Living the dream. So this last third is more of the same with tight downhill turns. And bench cut single track that becomes tight in some places. Coming through a sequence of turns here. And then opening up into downhill bench cut. From here, the trail becomes straightforward, open, clear sight lines, and no crazy tight turns for quite some time. Coming through this tree crossing, a little bit of pedal, pedal, pedal. The slightly wider trail. Back into some tighter trees. And then a little bit of a tight turn right here. Back into some wide downhill. Relatively straight. This tree chicane, and then a hard right turn here. So, following this right turn, the trail opens up again with more bench cut and some features you can roll up on the sides, like this on the right. Riding up high into a left hand berm. Continuing along wide bench bed. Coming into one of those famous Jackson State Forest downhill switchbacks. In the closing moments of the downhill part of Fury 3 and Boyle. As the trail begins to flatten out into a forest with a lot of ferns on the floor. Thank you. 
you. Yep. And that's the end of the downhill. Continuing the traverse to the right of this marsh. Some wide open, good sight lines. Be sure to duck more than I did for that tree, and there's the boiler, a fixed steam donkey from the turn of the century. Along some flat, elevated single track, and that looks interesting. Let's break it down. Looking back at this feature, it is a fallen tree with some sketchy, loose logs piled on the down. So attempting a rollover, stalled out a little, it's perhaps best jumped, but that's one way to do it. Now here's what I really did when I saw it the first time. I picked up my bike, walked over, looked back, and continued on. So this is the closing moments of the trail, a little bit more flat through very tight trees, and one more downhill left turn to rejoin the road. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, please smash subscribe and click the bell to be in the know for future videos.